not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say on these videos. I'm just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only. Just want to jump in real quick and, and kind of point something out. So, obviously, I've said all the things I've said repeatedly. The OBV is always higher. This thing's going to get wound up so tight it's eventually going to blow up. The hedge funds don't want it to blow up. The hedge funds coincidentally are a market maker that controls the dark pool and controls the line and is also shorting the amc stock so obviously they don't want it to blow up it'll destroy generations of wealth that they've built and they think we're dumb money and they think we're going to sell eventually so all they got to do is make money elsewhere hide what they're doing here and get us mentally depressed enough to sell and try to make our money somewhere else and they can escape but it's not going to work they they People like us, we don't give up. So we just keep buying, holding, buying, holding. They don't like it. Eventually, it's gonna explode in their face. Yeah, monster. I'm still drinking this shit for no, well, not for free. I'm still. You're never mind. You know what? You got me all wound up too. Anyways, the point of this video is, I was gonna say the the best way to keep yourself stressed out on this is if you're watching videos every day that are telling you. <sighs> They, they give you kind of like, like I, I hope I don't do that too. I, I hope I don't give you hope that it's going to happen every, it could happen now. And then, you know, for me personally, I don't know when it's going to happen. I just believe it's going to happen. So I don't say, oh, man, maybe next week or next summer or in 32 days, you know. I, I've had theories when I think it could happen. And I, I, I will check myself and try to watch, trying to give dates and shit like that because I don't think that's a good thing. I think there's YouTubers out there that want to say things for views, for clicks, they're going to say anything. Like, oh, breaking news, this is happening, breaking news. And and I've been a victim of that before where I'd watch it, like, oh, my God, it's going to happen next week now. Look at that. Oh, my God, you know? So for me personally, I want to be careful with that. I don't want to set dates or expectations or, you know, I'm not telling you to buy, sell, or hold. I just want you to realize, not even you, for me, I, I know what I hold, you know? I know that this is one of the greatest chances in the stock market, if not the only or last chance to really get rich quick. So I wouldn't give that opportunity up. Everything I put in here and continue to put in here, I'm willing to lose because for me, it's worth the risk of losing it all for the reward. The risk is worth the reward for me. That's me personally. If it's not for you, you shouldn't be stressed out and wound up about this on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. I haven't been upset about AMC since before the reverse split. Just because I have confidence and in my DD, I have confidence in what's going to happen. I just, I just have confidence in it. I don't know how else to explain it. I've done my DD. I've done my research. I don't think these things can disappear. I think they're going to make it go up and down and bounce around and try to get you out no matter what. But for me, I'm here for life-changing money. Now, the more shares I add, the lower that, that number gets for the share price. So, you know, the more shares I get, the lower my average goes. Hey, man, if it hits, a, you know, to the point where I've got another 20,000 shares or some shit, you know, I, I might jump out of 500. But that's not where I'm at now, so I'm going to continue to buy and hold. The more time they give me, the more time I have to buy and hold. And like I said, the risk is worth the reward, reward for me. There's nothing guaranteed. Nothing guaranteed in life at all. Point blank period. But if you're watching YouTubers that are that are hyping you every day, they're saying, oh, guess what? This is happening. Oh, well, look, I just read this. This is happening. This is happening. It's good to have your research, your DD, but don't get hyped up and expect it next week or the week after. Okay, man, I got to be rich this, this coming week or my bills are coming up. Oh, I got to depend on this. If you're depending on this, depending on it for your life and for your happiness, check yourself. Sit back check yourself because this is not when you get like that you're hoping and hoping oh god please i need this to happen that's when you get stressed and depressed for me i'm confident i'm putting my money back into it and that's it i'm just confident with it but i'm not i don't have expectations of this day and that day and i do apologize because i know i've said oh man it could happen at any time it could happen at this and that or i think it could happen in december because of the last charts i read Nothing's guaranteed. I'm just telling you what I think, what I see. Um, I don't want to lead you down a path of being like, oh my God, we're going to be rich in December. Because I don't know. It might not ever happen. This may never happen. So you have to be able to 
separate yourself from this. It's just a freaking stock play. It's money. It's not your life. You have family. You have friends. You have happiness. You have other things. You got to find hobbies. If you have none of that, hit my inbox. I'll be your fucking friend, man. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good day. Be blessed. Be careful. Don't depend on it. And watch YouTube videos, whatever. But don't, don't suck the hopium.